Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Corey Salty True Floyd for Marami Media. And right now, I'm talking about Shazam. Now, look, I'm not the biggest fan of all the DC movies. I have a little bit more of a hate than love situation. But I got to admit, Shazam shows a bright future. And I'm smiling with all teeth showing. This was a A-plus movie. All right, now you got the dude, Zachary Levi, who some of y'all might remember from that TV show, Chuck. He's Shazam. I'm kind of surprised he got in this diesel fit shape too. But he's Shazam. But of course, if you know about Shazam, you know he also is a 14-year-old kid, Billy Batson. Billy Batson's played by this young dude named Angel Asher. I know, think about it. Angel Asher, Billy Batson. Ain't that about a bitch? Anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, Mark Strong, the dude you remember from those Kings of Movies, he actually plays Dr. Shavaro. Crazy dude, has, has, some, has some magic in his eye. He's summoning a whole bunch of demons trying to take over the world. Now, here's where shit gets funny. Now, the movie takes place in Philadelphia. So naturally, as a Philadelphian, there's a lot of things I find very funny. First, their version of SEPTA looks at least 20 years too old and way too clean. And they don't know what a Gino's cheesesteak looks like. Very sad. Besides, Max is better. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I had a really fun time. The movie, the movie's main theme is about family. Billy Batson's Billy Batson's character, unlike the comic book, he is a sadly he's been in and out of foster homes since he was a, since he was like four. Got lost at a got lost at the Christmas village. Couldn't find his mom. He's been trying to look for on and off again for years. Ends up coming into this big family home. Everyone's everyone's weird in their own particular way. Overall, f family gotta love it. I don't want to spoil it because if I say too much about that part, might be a giveaway. Now, here's what I'm going to talk about. Now, the post credit scenes. Post credit scenes. One is pretty cool. One is kind of trash. The pretty cool scene, I think, gives a hint at another magical being. I think it's Trigon. Not a, I'm not 100 percent sure if I'm if I'm wrong. Tell me in the comment section below. But I think they were hinting at Trigon. Then there's another post credit scene that pretty much Shazam's making fun of Aquaman while his best friend is wearing an Aquaman T-shirt. The meta humor was very there. Now, I'm not going to go over everything that goes went on inside the film, but I will talk about the last scene of the movie, which I thought was very funny and very sad all at the same time. Now, one, one of his classmates slash foster brother was chilling in the lunchroom, waiting for him to show up as a superhero to have lunch, you know, so he could be popular with his friends. So naturally he shows up, but then someone else shows up as well. Superman. Now, here's the messed up part. It's not Henry Cavill. They don't show Henry Cavill's face. It's they show the outfit and someone diesel standing in it. And it really pisses me off because right now, if it wasn't a Zack Snyder problem, it's a fucking Henry Cavill problem. And the DC, I like, I'm starting to get sick and tired of bullshit with Henry Cavill. If it wasn't that fucking mustache, now he can't show up for a simple cameo. I mean, damn. Damn, Henry Cavill, stop fucking up. I want to cheer for you, but you just keep fucking up. Also, just to get it out your minds, there, it, The Rock is not in the movie. Now, is there a clue for Black Adam? Yeah, there's a bit. There's, there's two big clues at Black Adam. What they are, I'm not going to say. When you see it, you comment below. I'll let you know if you're right or you're wrong. But The Rock it will not be seen in this movie. Maybe the next one. I'm really hyped for it. This movie was fantastic. Everyone played their part. Special effects were great. It was funny when it needed to be funny. It was emotional when it needed to be emotional. This was a all around good film. Now, only thing that made me scratch my head 
the thi- this whole movie takes place around Christmas time. But now we're coming into April and this movie's just coming out. You would think that they would have released this movie around Christmas time and maybe have released Aqua Bro now. Maybe maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just the DCEU dropping another ball. I'll leave that up to you. But Shazam on a grade scale, I give this an A+. I wish the DCEU started off on a strong note like this. Uh, I think it's at Mike Sandberg or Adam Sandberg, the director. He did a great job. I don't think he should have to worry about internet trolls. I, this was a fantastic film. I want everyone to go out and see it when it hits theaters in a few weeks. I am very thankful and very priv- privileged to have seen this film so early. Please go check out Shazam. You heard it from Corey Salter, True Floyd at Ameri Media. I'll see you.